my authority starts right now. Dear Lord, I come before you this morning to just remind you of how you empower Jesus to go against the diverses of the Pharisees who tried to undo everything that he did spiritually because they were using uh, 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 the matter of false preaching. But when the real preaching show up, they begin to mislead the people as usual. But then you empower Jesus, he begin to heal. He begin to go down the road where people that have been ostracized by the society, he said, let me just pass by, door, by that way. Because somebody alone that way need me this hour. I remember the woman with the issue of blood felt the virtue leaving her body when, the, when her master was coming down. And she said, today salvation has come in my community. And she went and grabbed it. Then again, there was a group that was living in the cave, gashing themselves, drinking their own pee and poop. And they had lost sanity of a human being. And Jesus went down the road and begin to, 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 to rescue them and cast demons out of them. He put some of the demons, he cast them into the pit because they made a request. The demon called a legend, said, Master, we know who you are. Why have you come to disturb us? Please leave us alone. Then Jesus said, you have an option to be saved or to be cast out. He said, yes, we agree, put us into the peaks. We prefer that. And Jesus cast them into the pigs, and the pigs walked into the river and got drowned. Our master, then the people begin to believe Jesus, rather than listen to the Pharisee, they started running in the numbers and the thousands to get healed. I come here this morning that you have given me this power. I didn't realize it. I was living in sin. I didn't realize it. Now I'm ready to utilize the power. May you empower me so that those who have been destroying your ministry in your child will get to realize that, oh, we must stop this. We must repent of our sin. But I come to tell you this morning, there will be no man that will stop me from doing your work. It will be cutting my head while I'm preaching. I will be letting down in the grave. I will be preaching in my casket. The first history to ever be made of man who loved God, his God so much. Because it took him help to get to love his God. To get to understand who God was. I stand by this morning to tell you, my people who listening to me. That you have to fight for God if you want God to fight for you. I'm fighting for my God. You can go ahead and destroy Everything else around me. I borrowed certain things from Job. And I told Job, give me certain patience. As a destroy around me, I know that my Lord liveth. That one day he will rescue me from the hands of my enemies. And my enemy will come. I will lay my hands and heal them and forgive them of the evil doing. I pray this morning in the name of the Father, Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. The Spirit is in me this morning, and, and, and I release it to all of you who love me on my page and support me and help me to preach the gospel that God will change your life, will help your children, and things will begin to change in your life. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God bless you.